Hello again, YouTube. This is Julia Plaus, children's book author and child at heart. I'm here to share more of my Littlest Pet Shop from childhood. I'm moving on to Littlest Pet Shop Horses. Now, my sister was actually the uh, horse fan in the family. She had My Little Ponies in the 80s. She did a, had a lot of uh, toy horses. So these were, I feel like these were more her thing than mine, but I still remember many of them belonging equally to me and not just her. This is, uh, this is the first little pet shop horse set I got. It's a mom and a baby, and there's a magnet in the baby's nose so they can kiss. And uh, this one came with like a pink saddle blanket, but it got lost, of course. This one came with a yellow saddle blanket. And these horse sets all came with uh, their own four pieces of fence to make a square, and even a cardboard, like, um, like a cardboard square of the ground, like with a path and some grass. And they all came with their own little bale of hay or a uh, bucket of oats in this case. And uh, uh, this one, they'd come with their own little brush. And this one came with a, a bottle so you could feed the baby because I guess even horses have to be bottle fed at some point. I don't remember what I named either of those, but I do remember contemplating naming this one Brown Butt. Like, no joke, that's that's all I, I looked at it and I was like, brown butt, maybe? But I don't remember what I landed on. And then we got, oh yeah, these this was from a set of uh, Arabian horses. Uh, this, it came, this one, like, he can stand up like that, like his tail balances out. And his, he came with um, another one that was kind of grayish white speckly. And uh, I don't... And all that's left of her is her saddle blanket. I don't have the horse anymore because I remember my sister and her friend were in our basement playing with these toys, and I don't know why, but they took a hammer to that horse. I remember watching them do it. They were like, hey, we're gonna smash this horse. I hope that's cool with you. And like, I didn't care. I didn't stop them. I didn't say like, no, that's my horse. What are you doing? And I just... Why didn't I stop them? I have no idea. But um, because they were called Arabian horses, naturally I named them Aladdin and Jasmine. Uh, these were called, these were Indian horses. And uh, this one has red paint on it because I used it in a Civil War diorama in like sixth grade. But uh, these were called Indian horses. So I don't remember what we named them, but this one, um, you, you move this, you turn this little thing on his back of his neck and he's got, he moves his leg. And this one has blue paint on it because this was going to be one of the horses on the, the north side of that diorama of the Civil War. So I had some dolls that I put on top of them and I had to paint them blue because blue was the north. So this guy's got blue paint on him. This one's got red paint on him. I do not even know how this came into my possession. I have no idea. I don't even remember wanting it. I can't remember why I would want it. This is some weirdo psychedelic purple horse with a sparkly glittery tail and a green jewel on its shoulder. And it's the same design is this. It's the same thing. They do the same thing, but just it's it, it's bucket of oats is like silver with green oats. Like, I have no idea why I own this. It doesn't seem like something I would want, but here we are. So yeah, I've got, I can, I can see the rest of the accessories across the table from where I'm sitting. They all came with like a bale of hay. Uh, yeah, that's all the, that's all the horses I have. I will be back soon with the uh with birds and reptiles.